Hey, how's it going? I was just watching Eddie Murphy's Raw, and I was reminded of how different things were then. You could be a lot more harsh in comedy. You could make fun of a lot more things in comedy. There was a section that... there I might have gotten offended at it at one point in time in my life, where he was using the word faggot and fag, but he wasn't... He was being just as mean towards that demographic as he was any other demographic, but if someone did that now, they'd say, oh, he's homophobic. No, he's not homophobic. If someone tried to do a stand-up right now that was of the nature of Eddie Murphy's Raw, it would be called sexist, homophobic, racist, bigoted... The SJW side of things, I'm sorry, they're, they're worse, they're worse than what the Christians were in the 80s. Because at least, I, I mean, because the Christians in the 80s would have made a big deal just about the language that he uses. Oh, fuck, shit, asshole, whatever, right? Cunt. You know, they'd, they'd make a big, huge deal about that. But they didn't have much... I mean, they were looked at as being prudish, and there wasn't a problem with that. But if you try to call some of the SJWs prudes, they throw a big, they make a big fucking deal about it. It's, it's, it's just trippy when you look at at old stand-up comedy. You know, if you haven't watched Eddie Murphy's Raw, I highly recommend it. Torrent it if you have to, whatever. That's what I did. I torrented it. I got a 1080p version of it because I don't think they actually ever release it on on uh, Blu-ray. It was a web uh, rip of it where they'll show it on, on different services. Now, you might be able to find it on a service. I don't know whether it's on uh, Netflix. If it is, I didn't. I didn't check for it. I just went and torrented it. But, uh, yeah, I, I unapologetically torrent some things. I do. Um, I don't generally torrent new things. It's always stuff. It's like 10 years old and older is generally what I'll torrent. You can be all pissy about that if you want, but that's tough, you know? <laughs> I just think about the, the old ways that people would, uh, would copy stuff, man. I, I had I had a uh, I had a laser disc player, and uh, I would go to Scarecrow Video in Seattle, and I'd rent a uh, I had a, a SVHS VCR, and I would rent DV uh, excuse me I would rent laser discs, and copy them in S video, copy them in SVHS. And I would cheat on the tapes, too. On, on, on VHS tapes... I'll just bring an example right now. Now, this here is an actual SVHS tape, right? When you turn it over on this side, you've got this... There's a little hole right here. This hole is what designates it as an SVHS tape. And... If you just took, if you found a, a brand of VHS tapes that were pretty high quality, you could just drill a hole in that spot and use it as an SVHS tape anyway. It worked. You wanted to make sure that you, that you had a lot of leader at the beginning of it, though. So have maybe one, maybe even two minutes of just, you know, record just black. That's why they'd actually do that on, on the pre-recorded video cassettes. They'd, they'd put a big leader on the beginning. That's why you had all that before the movie would actually play or any of the previews would actually show. It's because the very beginning of the tape can get crinkled and get, get damaged just out of regular use. So to keep from having the picture get fucked up, they'd, they'd do that, right? So, but uh, yeah, oh, I, I, I had a huge collection of movies uh, just based off of my renting them at Scarecrow Video and uh, copying, them, copying them to S-Video. Huge, huge collection. And then I was always obsessive about the way that I would label them. 
I didn't use the regular labels. I used one of those Pilot Silver uh, pens that have a plastic tip, right? And I'd make these really fancy labels for all of them and all that sort of shit. I was, I was so obsessive about that. The reason why I liked Laserdiscs versus VHS is Laserdiscs, okay, well, besides the, the picture being the best quality you can possibly get for a, a regular NTSC standard, um, most of the movies that were released on Laserdiscs were in widescreen. They were in letterbox format. So you'd have the bars on the top and bottom most of the time. And... Uh, VHS tapes, it was so rare that you... I mean, the color purple is one of the only ones I can think of right off the bat that you actually, when you got the VHS of it, it was in widescreen, you know? It was really hard to find widescreen movies on VHS. I don't know why I'm rambling about that, but... <laughs> but, uh... Because I was originally rambling about do, torrents and, and, and getting copies of movies through torrents. So, yes, Mrs. Torrance. Um, <laughs> I had a good day today. I, can you tell? <laughs> I, I, I uh, you know, went to the fair, had a good time. Food was, was, was pretty good. Hadn't, uh, hadn't splurged on any external you know, food from, from uh, a restaurant or a fast food for, for quite a long time. So... It was nice treating myself to a uh, pulled pork sandwich. Barbecue sauce was a little bit funny. You know, it's it kind of like, ah, it could have been better. But it's it's a regional thing, I think. It, it, it was really, really a sweet barbecue sauce. And I, li I like the more bold barbecue sauces, so. Um. <laughs> God, what a, what a sad... Uh, Sad video, I'm just talking about regular everyday things, right? <laughs> but but Eddie Murphy, and you can look at Eddie Murphy, you can look at George Carlin, you can look at Richard Pryor, you can look at some of the, the, the classic, uh, oh, even, oh, oh, I just forgot his name. Howie Mandel, his, his first, the thing that it made me even start looking at this stuff again to, uh, later today, was I, I watched uh, Howie Mandel's first appearance on television. And, man, he was just... He, he acted definitely acted like a crazy person. Uh, someone who's, like, really high on something. But that was his act, right? And even his act, if it was done now, would be considered offensive. Oh, oh, the SJWs would just get so triggered by it. Oh, no! They're... It, it, it's so ridiculous. And when the Christians did it, when the Christians did it about shit, fuck, asshole, cunt, whatever, when they'd do it over that, they'd sit there and try to use the Bible as the base of why they feel this way, and it, we, it, things should be more wholesome. Well, the SJWs, they've got sociology classes, so they can try to claim, well, we have science behind us. And statistics, and we have statistics behind us because these things make people feel like this. It's worse. It's worse. It's far worse. And I can't wait to to watch this shit die. This this censorship happy bullshit from from the uh, postmodernist SJW left. I can't wait for that shit to die out. You know, yeah, Dick Coughlin, you can make the claim that it's that, oh, no, it's not ruining comedy. Yes, it is. It's ruining comedy. It's ruining conversations. It's ruining people's ability to have a good time. It's ruining people's ability to have fun. It is. It's ruining all of that shit. All you have to do, all you have to do is look at some of the, the classic stand-up comedians that were harsh, that used strong language, and you can see exactly how the SJW thing has ruined that. Oh, it's, it's made us more conscious of other people. No, it's made us paranoid. That's what it's made us. It's filled people's minds with fear. The same type of shit that we usually 
were were making fun of the Christian, uh, the the fundamentalist Christians for because they want to spread this fear. Well, the SJW thing spreads the fear even more thick than the Christians did. You know, I'm thankful that 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 whole '80s Christian thing died out. It it it. There are plenty of people who call themselves Christians today that wouldn't have the problem with those with those stand-up comedians from the 80s and the 70s. You you you'd listen to it as eh eh not a big deal. You know, they got over it. I can't wait for the SJWs to get over it. I can't fucking wait. And you wonder what is it going to take for them to just finally fucking get over it. I have no idea. No fucking idea. Anyway. Bananas and scrambled eggs.